All right, welcome back everybody to another uh, weapons review for the Battle Pass. Today we will be going over uh, another assault rifle that uh, for the AK-74 Tattered. Um, this camo, is it bad? I mean, it, it's simplistic at best, but I mean, it's neat. You know, with the, the details on the butt of the gun, kind of like, <laughs> but honestly, it looks like hair ties on the grip. And uh, kind of, I guess a do rag or whatever on 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 the barrel itself. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, but you know, let's go over and see what attachments it comes with. All right. So for the AK-74, it comes with the uh, I don't even know how to say that Valinsky reflex sight. Um, I don't think I've used this one that often, unless it came, I think it came on one of the, uh, the, uh, standard weapons when you first get the game. It, I think it has this sight on it. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's probably the only time I've used that sight. Obviously, it comes with a suppressor, uh, extended magazine one, and a rear grip, the assault rifle rear grip, which adds sprint to fire speed. Um, not really much when it comes to uh your ads or, or um your firepower for this weapon as, as standard as it is so you know not really a lot lot to go with here except for you know i do like having a suppressor on that's about my only thing um we'll see how this fares out and then we'll go back into the uh the settings and see you know what could make this gun hit a little bit better but let's see how we do got one Oh, I'm hanging on the roof. I'm still hanging. <laughs> you coming back around? Shotguns are good on this round. Securing B. All zones are being locked down. Securing Charlie. Jesus. Losing B. Taking C. Fucking sniper. Losing A. 
Locking down Charlie. Secure. Controlling Bravo. We're losing Alpha. Beginning capture. Bravo is in capture. Sniper is dead. Move. I was too hurt. Losing Bravo. Losing A. We got a sniper. Losing B. I don't know if that worked or not. I'm going one for one right now. Good example of horizontal for control being trash. We've claimed the advantage, now hold it. Fighting control on that gun.
Bad idea. Nice. Enemy target eliminated. Folks. Control on this config is not good. Like, where do you have to go? Fuck. <laughs> hey, don't break. Move it. Almost had him. What the hell are you doing? Right where we want them. Finish the job. I don't even think he knew I was there. Enemy marks been eliminated. Not bad, not good. Uh, so, okay, overall review of this particular loadout, the, the tatter for the AK-74. Uh, not bad, definitely needs some adjustments. Um, your horizontal or vertical is atrocious. It, it seemed like I was fighting it 
the entire time. Um, so it definitely needs some buffs in both of those areas. Um, and kind of just uh, firepower itself could probably use uh, a buff itself. The uh, extended mag. Unless I'm doing zombies, I don't think it's required. But by all means, and as always, I'm a big fan of a grip for your underbarrel. And your commando grip. And I believe this does have, yeah, it has a spring, so your horizontal vertical can be helped. And you can put that on, it does not affect this camo whatsoever, or this variant whatsoever. So you can absolutely put that on and aid your fire, look at, buff my firepower and my accuracy already. Let's just see, commando grip looks fine. Mm. Precision foregrip looks fine. And I've already aided my firepower and my accuracy and my handling all in one. And I bet you horizontal and vertical will be drastically improved. Uh, the overall, the Valinsky reflex sight isn't horrible. It, it works. I mean, I'm a fan of red dot, and that's pretty much what that is. It's, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's red dots. So. Um, no, no. You know, I, I do like the reinforced barrel, as it does. You can see it up to my firepower. But overall, I, I think just these small, ch uh, minor adjustments, you'll see a drastic change in your aiming ability when it comes to this gun. So, right, next video, we'll be going over... Another uh, variant of the Goblin MK2, my favorite. Uh, even though it is Assault Rival, it is a single or semi-auto. Uh, the camo does look a little bit better than the other one, I think. Um, since it has more of a metallic as opposed to... Where was it? First page? Yeah. So, I mean, this looks cool, but I do like... This version a little better. It's kind of, yeah, dragon tips of the scale, obviously. And then, I keep hitting the wrong button. We have two variants of our first shotgun. Or not actually second shotgun, I'm sorry, but the actual uh, Marine SP. We got Boom Slang and Boom Slang Backshell. So we'll do both of these in one episode, and this will be... Uh, reviewed on its own so i hope you guys are enjoying uh leave a like leave a comment and hit that subscribe button check you later peace